All right, everybody. It's Halloween time. That means spooky times. Uh, that's why we've been in Mad Monster Mansion for so long, and that's why we're currently in the bottom of the well in Ocarina of Time. Gotta be in spooky places, because it's Halloween. We had our beach episode, and that was filler content. Now we're no longer at the beach. Now it's time to talk about the things we normally talk about. Like, uh... Jesus Ween? Yeah, yeah, Jesus, that's a thing, apparently. Apparently it's been a thing since 2012, which I heard at one point was when the world was supposed to end. So, uh, fairly certain that's how the world actually ended, and we're now just all living in a simulation. Before we get into that, though, fan art section, as usual. So this one comes courtesy of Karamba, and just like Karamba's last fan art, they offer zero context. But they did post it nonetheless, and they even posted a different colorized version of it as well. I'm actually not sure which version I like more between the two, but they are both super freaking adorable. And now I'm getting flashbacks to whether or not the dress is black and blue or gold and white. Huh. Well... That's an unlocked memory. Now I'm going to suffer forever. As always, thank you all for your fan art sub submissions. Submissions. If you want any of your fan art shown in future episodes, the best way to do so is dropping it into the fan art section of the Discord. With that said, let's go ahead and get right into the content. Roll intro. And now that the intro's done. God, that feels so weird saying that because, like, I know that people who are watching on Twitch... Will not see the intro. That is only for the YouTube folks when that goes up. So, let's talk about Jesus Ween. Because, you know, we we cannot have uh, an actual Halloween. Because that would be against the Lord God. In fact, actually, I think I'm not even allowed to show my hair. Because that's way too lewd. So, we're just going to have to put that hood back on. Because that... that I still have an exposed chest. So there's nothing I can do about that. I'm sorry, everybody. Wait... I should have done this entire episode in the French maid outfit. That one, at least, is not as exposed. Oh well. Fuck it. Put off. So, <laughs> since we are talking about Halloween, we need to talk about Jesus Ween. Now, I live in the South, and here, people do practically anything uh, in the church to celebrate Halloween without celebrating Halloween. The reason we do that, generally, is because, well... Kids are going to want their candy, and they're going to want their experience, their Halloween experience, but we don't want them doing any of that uh, cursed satanic stuff. So, what people end up doing, uh, we have all kinds of things here. Like, trunk or treat is one of the things that's been done for years, where instead of going house to house, you just park a whole bunch of cars in the church parking lot, and you go trunk to trunk. And I'm not going to lie, that sounds a whole lot more lame than going around the neighborhood and seeing people's haunted houses all decked out in Halloween stuff. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Ween was a fucking Halloween thing. Yup! Oh, did you think I was talking about Jesus' weenus? Sorry, he got pegged by a bunch of Roman guys. They're the only ones who got to see his weenus. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Jesus Ween, a.k.a. World Evangelism Day, is a global Christian gift-giving festival, a season to share the gospel and God's love to all mankind. Jesus Ween Christian Outreach every October 31st. It is World Evangelism Day, and that is every November 1st. This is like... Is this just appropriation? Is this just appropriation at that point? I don't know. They have videos up here for us to watch for context. So let's go ahead and look at one of those real quick. Again, this is from 2012, but this is every October 31st. So, uh, welcome to the dungeon, everybody. It's Jesus Ween in here. So, looking at the actual video, Jesus Ween to replace Halloween for some people. It won't be long before the creatures of the night come knocking, some ready to scream for the sugar. <laughs> it... Ow! Why did your crotch goblin yell at over 30 decibels? Ow! You had somebody in an editing booth who could engage in sound mixing. And yet you chose violence. Why? Not okay. Now I'm scared. How is the how is the rest of this going to be? God, I wasn't expecting a jump scare during a Halloween video. 
Well, shit. It's the scary part of Halloween that concerns two public elementary schools in Calgary. They're telling children to keep the masks and monsters at home and wear what they're calling caring and friendly costumes. Halloween caring and friendly costumes. Okay. Naki Bree, thank you very much for redeeming your points for an oh woe. Look, guys, I have to say, oh woe. But also, I have to say, caring and friendly, look. You can be caring and friendly while wearing a Freddy Krueger outfit. You can. Just, uh, don't touch your friends with your knives. That would be A, gross, and B, painful. But you can certainly be friendly the entire time. Halloween is not a day to take a holiday from tasteful dressing in schools. Some parents think the schools are overreacting. Oh, I don't think it's necessary. My oldest wanted to be something scary this year, and now he can't because he can't wear it to school, so he's... He's not happy. Oh, is so they literally telling kids at school, don't dress up as anything scary? Bish, what scary is subjective? If I wanted to, look, look. If I dress as Charlie the Unicorn, the, the adults at that school might go, aw, unicorns aren't scary, but the people on the internet, they know. Kidneys were removed in that series. A group of conservative Christians based in Alberta doesn't like what it sees as the dark side of Halloween either. And it's using social media to help spread its message. On October 31st, www.jesusween.com. This October 31st, join with all Christians under one voice. The group is encouraging the celebration. October 31st, all Christians with one voice freely give Bibles and Christian books. God, that is a lot less exciting than candy. What? ...of Jesus Ween, asking that along with candies, Bibles be handed out. And oh, that trick or oh, there's candy as well. So we have candy and kindling. Got it. Treaters avoid the ghoulish get-ups and opt for white shirts instead. Jesus Ween is not against candy. It's not about hijacking Halloween. Jesus but, but it is. You hijacked Halloween. You literally did. If you didn't want to hijack Halloween, do it on the 30th instead of the 31st. You did it on the exact day of Halloween. This is the hijacking. Sween is about spreading something more positive. The Facebook site already has a few thousand followers, enough to attract the attention of TV funny man Jimmy Kimmel. They better not be passing out the fun size Bibles, by the way. I want the. <laughs> I wonder. Wait, Jimmy, you know that fun size Bibles are a thing, right? You know those little green New Testament Bibles? Those are fun sized Bibles. We were past those out at PCA. The origins of Halloween are actually Christian, says this religious studies professor. It originated uh, within the church as All Hallows' Eve. It's really a sort of time for kids to have fun. And that's about all there is to it. There are no deep uh, pagan connections to Halloween. Harmless or horrid, there's no question children will still be out this year. But if the weather turns frosty, some will be forced to wear parkas. A truly chilling thought for everyone. That... That was a pun. You had every ability to not say that pun, and yet you chose it. So Jesus ween, everyone. There, so here's the thing. Here's the funny thing. This is one of the things that was actually shown on the Jesus Ween website. It has a mailing list. I am not going to be going on the mailing list. We got a thing from CBN here as well and a thing from Huffington Post. Uh, let's see. How long is the, the Huffington Post one's a minute and 30? Let's look at the CBS News one and see if they offer any different perspective. It's probably going to be about the same. Let's see. Promoting a faith-based alternative to Halloween. It's called Jesus Ween. Jesusween.com says Halloween is a day to celebrate ungodly images and evil characters. Ungodly images. God, can you imagine? Okay, look. Just at, on Halloween, just dress up as a sexy nun. Not only are you submissive and breedable, but you are also literally a nun. How, how is that ungodly? It's perfect. 
The pastor who created Jesus Ween says Halloween is not consistent with the Christian faith, and many people feel uncomfortable on that day. So the group is asking Christians to dress in white and to hand out Bibles and other Christian gifts instead of candy. It also asks people to knock on doors and share the message of Christianity. The head of the Department of Religion at Texas Christian University gave her take on Jesus Ween and Halloween. For many Christians, that is the primary point, um, that you spread the word. And so I think you take whatever opportunity you've got. I don't think Christians need to feel guilty um, about um, putting their kids in costumes um, and sending them out. God, imagine that. We have two experts on religious history who both are just like, yeah, Halloween's fine. Get your panties out of a twist, Karen. Jesus ween, everybody. To, uh, shake down the neighbors for candy bars. Nadia Lahutsky also notes that like many American holidays, Halloween has pagan and Christian roots. She says Halloween means All Hallows Eve, the day before All Saints Day. Yeah. No, it, literally, exactly. Duh. <sighs> oh, my Jeebus. It is so weird. Remember, they're not trying to hijack Halloween, everybody. Definitely not. They just want the kids not to participate in Halloween. Therefore, they're not hijacking Halloween. Oh, well, yeah, no, no. That's where we are. That's where we're at now. We're at that level of lying. But apparently this has been a thing going on for like eight years? Oh shit, it's 2021. God damn it. 2020 was the longest decade of my life. Fuck. I forgot about that. Nine years. This has apparently been a thing going on for nine years. So, uh, here's where I throw it back to you guys. If you have any Jesus Ween stories that you want to say in the comment section below, go ahead. Let me know. I, I want to know, because this is the first time I've experienced uh, Jesus Wayne. I have had no idea what this is. The closest thing I've had is the, the trunk or treat stuff. But yeah, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you haven't already over on YouTube. Follow over on Twitch if you haven't already. And... If you want to support the channel and what I do, the best ways to do so are in the description. You can check over on Patreon, where I submit all of my vlogs. You can check down there as well for other ways to support the channel, uh, via the sponsors or even the merch store. But if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button if you haven't already. And share it with your friends, this uh, Jesus ween. Alrighty, everybody. As always, insert end of video tagline here. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. If you want access to behind the scenes content for the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon. I do weekly vlogs over there where I give uh, real life updates to what's going on behind the scenes on the channel, stuff that you don't really get uh, over here and, and even on Twitch. Uh, Patreon also helps the channel's stability a whole lot. Without Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do this at all. Especially with the kind of content that I do, neither YouTube nor Twitch are the most stable sources of income. If you are a $20 and up patron, then you will be featured on the ending slides as shown in the beginning of the end credits. If you want to catch the streams where all this content comes from, then consider heading over to Twitch and following. And if you want to continue watching over here on YouTube, maybe consider clicking one of the end screen videos. And once again, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me over on my channel. I wouldn't be able to do literally anything that I'm doing over here on YouTube without each and every one of you. So thank you.